Here you go. Good morning to AdPro. We produce digital and print ads for multiple platforms, but recently we realized that we're not just in the design production business. We realized that we're actually sleep therapists. And not only sleep therapists, we actually, we are experts in the removal of elephants. Let me explain. The company was established seven years ago and we are recognized as pioneers of on-demand creative. We produce ads from basic banners to flash to social media. We have a diverse customer base. We are experts at managing high volume. Last year, we delivered 500,000 creative units to over 100 sites, client sites globally. We have a smart technology for smooth workflow, which is underpinned by Six Sigma and Lean processes. Our client portfolio includes some well-known media companies and publishers, as well as we work directly with brands like Macy's, AOL Patch, and Technorati. So how do we help our customers sleep at night? People are at the heart of our business. We have an extremely capable and well-managed design talent pool of over 500 designers in our Indian hub. The time difference means that you can sleep while we work. Sleep therapy. And also, we can deliver at a cost that won't give you nightmares. We pride ourselves above all on customer communication and client service. Our client is a top newspaper company in the United States with a mission to establish each of their newspaper papers as the leading online source of local news. Big ambition, big reach, a lot to achieve. However, one obstacle, they had an elephant in the room. The elephant was the year-on-year -year escalating cost of digital skills, the ability to recruit, manage, cost, different skill sets, all the overheads associated with that, which resulted in a lack of sleep for many of the executives in the company. So we made it our mission to get those guys resting again and to remove the elephant from their room. We started with the pilots and very quickly they felt the benefits. With access to a large talent pool and now consistent high quality design, they immediately felt the benefit not just in cost, but a grateful sales force could get on with the job of selling and product development. Better reporting and tracking at a workflow level and the added benefit of the management being able to watch from a helicopter view. In terms of work, we work with the usual IAB standards, as well as custom bespoke executions from high-end, action scripting, to GIFs, to even social and mobile. But what, was the real, real what were the real tangible results? Well, I should emphasize that every one of those ads is custom built. This is not a template business. We built 10,000 ads for 13 sites last year, and each site can decide whether to substitute a full-time designer or just to handle, or just handle, just handle the, give us the overflow. Big cost savings with variables between 40 and 50% in terms of saving and increased efficiency. We handle the heavy lifting while you can focus on sales and production development, product development. So we removed the elephant from the client's room. We help the client get better control of their design costs and improve the speed and efficiency and quality of their work. Tour Pro helps media companies all across the US sleep at night as well as removing their elephants. As a business, we pride ourselves on transparency. However, there are a few occasions when we take our clients on a ride. And in this case, a happy, if a little nervous client. Thank you. That Four was minutes. close. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I'm Barry Shago. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for AdMall. And uh, before I get into our case study, I want to explain a little bit uh, about what we do and why we feel uh, consultative sales is important. Uh, just a little background by way of introduction. Uh, AdMall was created in 2005 as a database service for co-op advertising. Uh, that's where we have our roots, and we still do that. But today, AdMall is a total solution for media sales. It's a prospecting tool. It's really business intelligence uh, for, for your sellers to go out and sell from. Um, 
and we also go all the way through the presentation So as, as you're doing those kind of things. We're used by more than two th 20,000 uh, uh, media sales reps all across the country. A lot of our clients are here today, and it's nice to see you guys and catch up. So why is consultative sales important? And I think that's the foundation for, for what we do. And you've heard some statistics here. I'm going to use Gordon's since we're at his house. Uh, how many advertising sales reps do you think a typical business uh, owner sees each month? And the answer is, you know, 22. And I've heard numbers here over the course of the conference from 15 to 40. I think it depends on the size of market that you're in. That's why your customers look like this. Um, the other thing, and just a few things, there are some frustrations out there about buying advertising. Rate increases without justification, 46.5%. And this is from our small business marketing study, which is one of the largest uh, in the country. Um, also, getting sales and proposals that are relevant to my business. We've heard that a lot uh, over the course. 40% of people say they're frustrated because they're not getting those presentations that they want. Ratings and research that's confusing, outdated. It's from the trade association for your media, so they don't like that, 37% as we go through. The big number is right here. 84.3% of people agree with the statement, if you don't know my business, you can't tell me what advertising is right for my business. So let's go through the case study, Comcast. Uh, a divisional office of Comcast launched the campaign. This was their new clients now campaign. The goal was to bring in new clients from multiple DMAs served by this divisional office uh, for Comcast. Over a 10-week period, 43 reps went out. They prospected and researched in predetermined hot categories of business. They used our local account intelligence report with peak sales months, all that kind of data, to make cold calls, to book the deals, to go out and make their presentations. The results. The campaign resulted in new business, again, over 10 weeks, $550,000, uh, all brand new business from the client. But that's not all. They repeated the client, the, the, uh, the, the thing, th two other times during, over the course of the year. So the total over those three campaigns for new business was a million two in brand new business. Uh, congratulations and thank you. Rebecca is here somewhere uh, and submitted this story. Ram uh, Rebecca Lampersky from uh, Comcast Spotlight in Pittsburgh. Um, and not only was it a success story for us, they entered this in the uh, CAB uh, competition and won the award uh, for strategic positioning for cable advertising. <laughs> Peter. We're going to continue with Barry's theme on sales effectiveness for the next couple of minutes, very briefly, and talk about what we can do to dramatically improve sales performance. And there's a great opportunity. I'm going to share with you a couple of Burrell statistics and a case study. But before I do, it's important that we understand the challenge that we're facing here. Here are the kinds of things that are impacting or the kind of effect we're seeing in the sales organizations today. Longer decision cycles, lower quota attainment, lower participation, higher turnover. Now, I'm not going to ask you to confess, but by a show of hands, how many of you know of a media company, maybe, not, maybe it's not you, know of a media company experiencing some of these challenges, at least one or more? All right, so it's affecting nearly everybody in the space. In order to address the problem, we've got to understand why it's happening. And it's a convergence of two different factors. First, it's what's going on in the marketplace. There is a proliferation of new technology, new options for buyers. This is combined with increased competition, and it's causing a lack of differentiation in the mind of the buyers. Meanwhile, they're more informed than ever before, and they're becoming more demanding. That's one challenge. But the other part of it is the way in which we're actually engaging the customer. In spite of what's going on in the marketplace, we continue to pitch products and services to buyers who need help and they're not satisfied with that. So with a solution, what we ultimately have to do is literally transform the way in which we engage with the buyers. Transform from pitching solutions to becoming trusted advisors. Have a consultative business conversation. Now in case you're wondering, can that really be done? A Burrell study found that people who use an agency type approach sell 41% more per advertiser. Oh, and by the way, if you're worried whether or not the buyers will welcome that help, 
64% say they'll trust their broadcast rep to sell them online solutions if we engage them properly. So a quick case study for sales transformation, and this is maybe a bigger organization than some of you have. This is an 8,000-person global sales organization. Believe me, that doesn't make transformation easier, makes it harder. We implemented our selling sciences program with the organization, retrained the salespeople on how to engage customers, managers how to coach, and marketing how to communicate with sales. They then hired an independent firm to study the results, and here's what they found. They spent less than $20 million, so that's less than $2,500 per person, the return was $300 million in incremental revenue in the first 24 months. That's $37,500 per rep. How do you actually make that happen? How do you get that kind of a return? A couple of things have to happen. First of all, the methodology itself has to be better. It has to be customer-focused. It has to facilitate helping them make a better buying decision. Second, you've got to get 100% buy-in from the sales organization. If each person doesn't believe it's in his or her best interest, they won't employ the methodology. Next, you've got to provide tools that support ongoing learning and reinforcement. They're not going to get better by going to training classes. And then finally, you've got to hold people accountable, not just for the result they produce, but for the behavior that you expect and that your customers expect. My name is Bob Sanders. I'm with Axiom Salesforce Development. And if you get a chance, stop by and see us, and we can talk more about the kind of impact you can have with your sales organization. Tremendous opportunity to dramatically improve results with the existing Salesforce in many cases. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Mike Shook, Vice President of Local Sales for Broadcast Interactive Media. Broadcast Interactive Media is a best-in-class provider of vital data services and productivity tools for online publishers, broadcasters, and advertisers looking to streamline their operations and generate new revenue. Uh, we are... Forward. Sorry about that. Can't see anything on the screen, so I'm just going to kind of run with it. Nothing on the screen. Okay, got you. Thanks, guys. Uh, so, uh, we're a best-in-class provider of uh, vital data services uh, to help business organizations streamline their businesses. Uh, our products include uh, BIM Local, Digital new, uh, News and Information Advertising Network, ranked number one by Comscore. Uh, the BIM CMS, which is an open source content management system that allows publishers uh, to publish to both web, online, and mobile devices all on one platform. BIM Local Sales, uh, that's the division I, I manage, and we help publishers create local convergent marketing programs to generate new local revenue. Uh, the uh, uh, BIMVID, uh, which is our uh, video, uh, web-based video management uh, platform that allows publishers to upload, clip, syndicate, and monetize their video content. Uh, our Media Star Suite, uh, which is a, a program management uh, tool for uh, scheduling and promoting uh, uh, tel television schedules uh, online and on mobile devices, and our Titan TV guide products uh, responsible for uh, helping publishers uh, to serve their, their content in a variety of formats. That was a mouthful. With all that said, I'm actually here today to talk to you about uh, a new local revenue program we launched earlier this year called Get Active Today digital marketing program that's driving significant new local healthcare revenue for publishers in many markets. Uh, today, uh, the healthcare organizations are seeking to associate their brand with wellness. So they're looking for content and resources, wellness resources, that speak to consumers on how to get, uh, engage and interact with them on living an active, healthy life. So what we did is uh, we created this program. We launched it in Milwaukee earlier this year on WISN. Milwaukee's number one news and information uh, television station, and on WISN.com, uh, their high-traffic local news website. Uh, we were successful in generating over $200,000 uh, in new digital revenue for them. Since this time, uh, we've moved forward and we've licensed this program to publishers in several additional markets. This program is not just for broadcasters. If you're in the newspaper business, if you're a newspaper publisher, uh, we can partner with you as well. So it's for news and information websites. It's a multi-platform digital initiative. We provide all of the resources in this, the online content. Uh, if you're a broadcaster, we have uh, broadcast vignettes, creative, all done, all put together, completely turnkey. So deliverables in include sponsor-branded vignettes, 
Uh, we produce uh, rich media, creative. Uh, here you see some samples of uh, tethered, tethered ads uh, that we use that we serve up dynamically through the uh, BIM Local Digital Ad Network on our publisher sites. Uh, we provide a, uh, a turnkey, uh, content-rich, Get Active Today microsite featuring walkout video, which uh, incorporates borderless web video technology. Uh, the site is content-rich, uh, wellness resources that engage consumers on how to live a, an active, healthy lifestyle. This becomes a natural extension of both our media partners' website, okay, and our, uh, our health care partners' website together. Uh, results so far have been very positive. Our health care partner in Milwaukee has already renewed for year two. Uh, we've got several DMAs uh, have already uh, licenses to, and if you, have, if you want to learn more, come and see us over at... Uh, Booth number six, thank you. Okay, hi everyone, I'm Tim Judd, the boss and founder of eLocal Listing. Uh, we are the guys that make the phone ring for your clients. So when you sell a package which includes lead generation, many of you turn to us and we make the phone ring for you. Um, you can follow my insane ramblings at Think Judd on Twitter. This is us. So I'm going to give you a real case study, an actual client with lots of detail. I'm even going to give you dollars. Embarrassing though they may be, so I'm not going to name anyone involved. Our client um, is a national chain of car auction centers. Uh, we have about 100,000 clients involved. They have only 133 locations. Um, they specialize in total loss. So in other words, if you wreck your car, your insurance company sells that car to somebody, often through these guys. Um, but they want to increase their penetration into the junker market. In other words, persuading you to sell your junk car through them. Uh, they haven't done much of that historically. They've done all kind of B2B, insurance to insurance. They want to go B2C, a fairly tough exercise. We specialize in organic search engine visibility through our own platforms. In other words, we create content about our, our clients, which the search engines find adorable and give themselves lots of exposure. So, moving forwards, uh, we created multiple um, profiles for this client. They have uh, essentially 100 old markets, but each market serves multiple geographies. So we created roughly 10 pieces of SEO-rich content for each location. Uh, we published them to our network, and we published them, of course, to various places, including videos. Um, this client pays us on a pay-per-call basis only. We don't sell clicks, we don't sell views, we don't sell impressions, we don't sell fixed fees, no fixed fees, no nothing, just the calls we send. If we suck, we don't get paid and I can't make payroll. So we have to do really, really well. But in this case, the qualification period is a two minute call because they have a horrific uh, call system which you've got to get through to talk to the client in the first place and no second calls inside 30 days. That was it takes them 30 days to close the deal. And we started this back mid of last year, and we've run it for the last uh, few months or so. I'm basically giving you 90 days of trailing data. We publish this kind of content. The content is unique, it's handcrafted, and it's uh, relevant about each client and each location. So even though they only serve one location, we can have multiple cities covered by that city. Uh, we also do hyper long tail SEM. We do not fish the frequently searched areas. A typical client will have five to 10,000 keyword terms managed by us for one location. If you don't do this right, it's a great way to lose money. If you do it well, it's awesomely profitable. Okay, here are the actual numbers. Uh, in this 90-day trailing period, we've been sending them roughly 1,500 calls a month. Uh, that, those convert terrifically well, roughly half of page views become calls. Half of all the page views we generate become calls. That's how good we are at conversion. Uh, they're paying us 15 bucks a lead. In this period, we sent them nearly 4,000 leads. Um, the, the one that I didn't put in the deck there is that the cost, if we do it through SEM, is approximately four bucks to us. We sell that for 15 bucks. The client has generated approximately a million dollars of new junker sales over that period. Uh, that cost them, to us, $65,000. So they spent $65,000 with us. We generated about a million bucks of revenue to them. That gives them a 1,400% uh, ROI on the whole package. We are e-local listing. We are really good at what we do. We drive calls to your clients. Come see us in the exhibit hall. Thank you, and follow me on Think Judd. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. Two seconds to go.
Two seconds to go. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I'm uh, Neil with Impact Engine, uh, one of the co-founders of the company. Impact Engine is a, a third-party rich media company that serves over 1,100 broadcast and TV and radio sites across the U.S. and Canada. And we're proud to present uh, today our partnership with Morris Communications and the results that we've had. Uh, one of the things that you got to realize about Impact Engine versus uh, other processes or vendors is we seek to enhance your profits and reduce your headcount at the same time using our patented system. I'll start our case study by talking about uh, what Morris says about us. You know, as a result of our partnership, uh, Impact Engine is a foundational component of our strategy going forward. That's a powerful statement coming from a premium company, and we're proud uh, that they said it about us. Uh, the result of our partnership is that uh, Morris has uh, experienced a 50% increase in direct sold premium rich media positions because of Impact Engine, and we've helped them accomplish that with no new headcount. So how do we do that? Morris implemented our patented rich media process we call Showcase, Produce, Retain. So the first part, we give each property a private label ad showcase that they take out onto the field and they sell only what their production department can produce. No, no custom, uh, you know, can't fulfill it kind of work, only what the organization can produce. Uh, we do pencil peels, we do video ads, we do uh, both flash and HTML, and that gives the, uh, the production department extremely fast turnaround times. Our turnaround times per rich media ad, in-house delivery with specs, less than 30 minutes. Um, you can uh, increase your revenue, create those ads on the, on the same resources you have, and keep all the revenue. All of the revenue that pipes through Impact Engine is direct sold. Second, that ad runs on the site after being produced. That's after step two. Step three, retain the client with real-time performance reports and ad optimization. We are able to run multiple pieces of rich media creative into the same ad position, and we're able to give you the ability to give your clients the ability to optimize that ad creative running multiple ads into the same position. Uh, these ads can be showcased on mobile, uh, including iPad, iPhone, and desktop, which means your reps can go out onto the field and show their showcase. Uh, for example, Online Athens is uh, one property that Morris, uh, uh, Morris is featuring. We rolled out to all Morris properties, uh, actual statistic, nationwide, with less than 10 hours of training time to all of their sites uh, within uh, 10 days, which is a, a pretty big statistic. Uh, so what's the big takeaway here? Morris, with their ad hub, took four high-end flash designers, added Impact Engine, and turned the entire department into a high-end rich media production facility. No outsourcing, no new headcount, and a sizable increase in direct sold premium revenue at very high GPs. Thank you. Thank you. First, I have a little confession to make. Um, with the buzz session, I wasn't quite sure what it was, so I drank 10 shots of tequila before coming up, but apparently that's not the buzz session that today is. Uh, we sell CRM specifically to the media space, so the question I tend to ask people is, what do you think of when you talk about CRM? And many times we hear people say it's a software program. It really isn't. CRM is a philosophy. It's not a software program. And for it to be successful, you have to have really three elements, uh, the patience, the persistence, and the commitment from everybody in the organization. Uh, we use a quote that you'll see on the screen quite often, and that is that success is always on the other side of inconvenience. If you've rolled out a CRM program, you know it's inconvenient, but you also know when done right, it's very successful. So what we do with our program and with our companies in the media space is when we're looking at our customers and our customers are looking at information, sometimes you'll have that rear view mirror, which basically answers the question, where have I been? So you want to know what your customers have been doing. Have you been hitting goals? And you can see the questions on there. Um, that's the rear view mirror. How have I done in the past? As you look forward, one of the big questions you think about with a CRM product, uh, I, I won't name any names of any big ones that sell to sales forces, 
Uh, but sometimes what you'll find is those companies will give you a, a view through your dashboard that's very confusing, and it will look something like that. What we do with Matrix is really try to, to, to call it down to what's important to you so that you know where you're headed. You can really ask the questions of how are my sales pacing, what does my forecasting or my pipeline look like. So we really try to make that dashboard view uh, really attainable and easy for you to use as well as the salespeople. So specifically what we've done, you'll look at some of the uh, very quick view of our dashboard and, and please stop over to our booth and you'll, you'll be able to see some more. But you can see it's very simple to use, very simple to understand. A case study for us, we work with a lot of different media companies. One large media company we work with was really struggling with accurate forecasting, really getting good reporting up and down the sales chain, and then effective accountless management, tracking their sales efforts, and really getting that tangible feedback to their salespeople. So we implemented our solution for them, and it was really across 250 different users. The, the one thing that was very valuable to our customers and still is, is the, the improved accuracy of forecasting. Uh, so this company increased it by about 25% or so, uh, but it really gives them good, accurate views uh, across all of their different media properties. So whether you're selling a television station, newspaper, radio, online, you name it, uh, Matrix can aggregate all that information together for you. We normalize that data, and, and by normalization what we mean there is if you have different billing systems and you have the name McDonald's in there with an apostrophe or without an apostrophe, we normalize that data so you get accurate information. But really what we believe most is that the CRM needs to be about the salesperson, not about the sales manager. And when you get the salespeople to really start to use a product like Matrix to their benefit, the real, the real effective beneficiary then becomes the manager. So we have all the tools for the managers, but most importantly, it's about the salesperson and what they do. So I'd like a 30-second refund on what we've paid, uh, but that's it. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Um, so my name is Kevin Wonder. I'm the director of advertising and client experience for a company called Orange Soda. Just to give you a little background about us, we've been in, in business since about 2006. and We specialize in providing online marketing services with a local focus. Uh, we would actually be providing uh, services for your clients and uh, for the people that you work with. Uh, what we find is that we have a blended advertising solution, advertising solution which at its core uh, is what uh, contains SEO and paid, and paid search management, which is kind of what we've built our, what we've built our business on. We find that our, that our advertising solutions convert two to five times above industry averages, and we're going to talk about one of those case studies today. Uh, prior to that, though, our, we serve about a, we serve a couple thousand clients across the country, uh, and many of that is through our partner channels. Uh, many of our partners are similar to companies like yours. They're small business aggregators, they're publishers, and they're companies who provide services to small businesses. Uh, many of our partners partner with us because we provide a solution in a cost-effective way that is that is very efficient for their advertisers. Uh, recently, we launched a new product that we call Blend. A blend is the best of online marketing, the best of what we do, mixed to perfection. To give you a little bit of context to what it is, we provide your clients with what we call a My Page. It's basically a full functional website that's highly optimized to turn search traffic into clients. Using what we know about SEO, about maps, and about paid search management, we drive traffic to those sites. All of our campaigns are mobile targeted, and we support your clients uh, with a dedicated account management team and easy reporting so they can understand the return on investment. Uh, our case study today is about uh, one of our local clients. They've been in business since 1982. They're a local family-owned specialty contracting business. Uh, for sake of anonymity, let's say that they're a New York-based plumbing service. They specialize in the most up-to-date practices for their trade and have always felt it important to make sure that they're marketing their business with best practices. A couple years ago, they realized that they weren't being found when people searched for their businesses online or for their services online, and so they came to Orange Soda, and we, they've been a client since 2009. Uh, when they came on board again, they, they really didn't have a very good web presence. So we told them what we needed to do was we were going to drive qualified traffic through ranking for relevant keywords. We were going to make sure they showed up when local people in their area searched for their products and services. And we would continue to strategically target additional keywords relating to their business through paid search. Uh, our client site, which at one time converted one to two leads per week, now converts four to 10 leads per day. 
And when you think about that at a small business and a locally, locally focused business level, that's a very significant increase for them. Uh, we've been able to get them to rank for, uh, if we're going to use our, our plumber here, for Manhattan plumber, they rank number one. They also rank for their secondary geography, so let's say Brooklyn plumber. And they also rank highly for over 400 keywords relating to their products and services. And on average a month, they receive about 140 leads uh, via the work that we do. Typically, the client tells us that they receive a 2,500% return on investment. And this past month, they reported 7,000% as a return on investment on their advertising with Orange Soda. Uh, again, we love uh, helping, our, helping locally focused businesses succeed. We know many of you work with those types of businesses, and if you're looking for a way to provide these types of services and solutions to, to your clients, we'd love to chat with you. Thank you. So Paper G, it's, it's the leader in local display advertising. We power over 100 media companies, and over 20,000 local advertisers. We power specifically their online and mobile display advertising. The New York Times calls us an ad, an ad engine to put Mad Men out of business. What does that mean? Well, our place local technology can auto-generate a custom online ad for any local business using just their business name and city. Our technology goes out onto the web, crawls for data in real time, and puts together a unique ad in 30 seconds. You can see here an example of an online 300 by 250 ad, as well as a mobile ad unit. We found that this technology is incredibly powerful for sales reps who are using it to generate spec ads for customers on the spot. We've taken selling display advertising from being simply pitching time and space to being something incredibly visual and concrete. Now I'm going to share with you an example client, which is a major directory company. It has over a thousand sales reps hundreds of thousands of digital customers, but it's never sold display advertising before. And Paper G partnered with this major directory company to provide a display offering to these customers. What we found was, by having spec ads, we were able to double the sales close rates than if we were to go in there without any sort of artwork. We found this with this company, we found this with many other companies, and beyond that, we actually saw a huge return on investment for our partner, 600%. So, with this company, they've launched a new product and were able to deliver off of it huge amounts of revenue. And just to give you some context, in the first month of official launch, this company was able to do millions in new digital display revenue. Local display is exploding right now, and we happen to be the leading provider in technology for it. And we look forward to working with many of you in this room. All right, I'm Phil. I'll be uh, CEO of PocketSense. Uh, I'm actually here to discuss a little bit about what we're doing and uh, also a case study that we have to show for you. Um, our, we have a local online advertising network. Um, basically, we have a flat rate pay per click. Uh, it's just 25 cents for advertisers. Um, and what we do is we try to do uh, geo targeting, uh, make sure that every ad is shown to a local individual. Uh, and our goal is to increase the click through rate for both the advertiser and the publisher. Um, uh, for advertisers, uh, we actually uh, have um, just the local targeting ability, and uh, we try to basically partner with ad networks and agencies. Um, basically, we're trying to increase the exposure for local small businesses and uh, basically increase revenue for the publishers. Uh, when it comes to local, uh, basically, we can try to go for a low cost per click uh, in a targeted small radius. Um, and basically that's where m the majority of the sales come from for a small business. Um, basically, um, I actually kind of already explained that. <laughs> uh, we're basically, for the higher click-through rates, um, we're trying to do better than industry standard, uh, which is about 0.1, 0.3%. Um, uh, Facebook is a little bit lower right now, and uh, yeah, the, also the 0.2% uh, Google AdWords. Um, Ours are actually sitting about 0.36% for national and 1.6% for local for some, some people. Um, all right. <laughs> um, basically, for publishers, uh, the goal is to increase your revenue and uh, show basically the local ads for the higher click-through rates. And uh, as you can tell, um, basically, the, 
the global ads are kind of the lowest click-through rate out of the industry, and it increases as you become more and more localized. Uh, with mobile as one of the highest rates, as you can see, I've got three partners here, and uh, the, they're all doing really well when it comes to the mobile advertising. Uh, for one of our sites, uh, basically we've had a little over 850,000 uh, unique visitors, and as you can tell, uh, c the comparison here shows that the higher click-through rate generates more clicks, and even though the, the fixed rate cost per click is lower, it actually ends up generating much more revenue. Um, this is actually one of our partners that we've been working with lately. It's uh, yourwhip.com. They actually have uh, a database full of local car listings that they aggregate from dealerships. Um, the goal is to basically distribute the ads on their own website and through our network on all of our partners' publishers' sites to basically increase the number of leads generated. Um, they were able to increase the traffic uh, by over 200% to their site. Um, their leads generated increased by 350%, and the number of clicks were up almost 200% as well for an overall revenue growth of 323%. Uh, thank you very much. Right here? Thank you. All right, good afternoon. My name is Steve Ward. I'm the Vice President of Media Sales at WSI. I'm here to talk about the weather and talk about how WSI empowers local television stations to tell compelling weather stories across all screens, especially uh, in mobile, as we're going to talk about mostly today, and engage their audiences in better ways than they've ever had before, and also to talk about how new uh, advertising opportunities for their advertisers. But let's first talk about why weather matters. It's obvious, but weather is the number one reason why people watch local news. It's the number one reason uh, that uh, they go to the website. And weather is uh, the number one thing that people check every single day. And as a result, people who plan for their lives use weather as a major driver. They use it because they're planning for their, their kids to dress in the morning. They're using it uh, to take flights, and they're also using it to take shelter when weather is uh, potentially uh, threatening. So what, weather, what we're doing here with uh, uh, WSI is we're taking uh, uh, station-branded weather apps, allowing the customer to uh, produce video uh, in real time, and we're also able to uh, offer uh, real-time uh, forecasting, alerting, there's also a social component that users can actually um, upload video and uh, pictures right to the station websites. So Weather Active Mobile has multiple uh, ad positions that are clickable. They're targeted by geolocation. Uh, users tell us exactly where they live uh, with their uh, uh, zip code. And they're also able to um, target directly down to a uh, weather event. So Weather Active Mobile, we have most of our stations are not selling it as a CPM basis. They're selling it at a sponsorship level. They're, they're able to target not only the engagement of the audience, they can, ta they can target the emotional connectivity, but they're also able now to target right down to the zip code. And as a result, we've got very good success with uh, many of our customers right now. So how does this all work? What we have is uh, uh, an ecosystem that we built for our weather uh, customers. The uh, meteorologist is able to be in the center of quickly and easily publishing uh, weather content to all the platforms, including the mobile. They're able to deliver video all in real time and essentially uh, enable the trusted brand to be uh, connected all the way through. Thank you.